Good morning and welcome to a new video. I just came back from running some errands and spent a little bit of time this morning working from the coffee shop as they have reopened here in France. Today is the 22nd of July and I'm working with Clotilopi and one might think that it's not weather appropriate but turns out that the weather is quite terrible <laughs> it's been pouring non-stop um, for the past couple of days which is very surprising for this time of the year so yeah working with Plotulopi hasn't been an issue at all in terms of working with a yarn that might be too warm for my hands um, as a matter of fact I even find myself wearing one of the jumpers that I have finished in the previous video quite recently because it's just too chilly. So anyways, um, grab maybe a warm beverage if you are facing the same weather situation as I am or something cooler if you are one of the lucky ones. Since last time that I have updated you, I, I've been working on quite a few things um, which I will include footage of and at the moment I am currently working with yet another Plotulopi goodness. Um, I placed an order for more Plotulopi a couple of days ago and the yarn arrived very quickly which I was very pleased about because this was yet another impromptu cast on. Um, this is what happens with my Plotulopi. I get inspired from um, one of the patterns that I work on is a stitch pattern that sticks and I need to explore that stitch pattern a little bit more. Um, so this is what happened with this current work in progress but before I start talking about this one we need to rewind a little bit so I can let you know what led me to working on this project. Before I get into the work in progress that I currently have on my needle, I need to let you know that the Well Posy um, version number, I don't even remember, three perhaps, that I cast on at the very end of last month's video is almost done. I just need to do the tubular cast on for the cuff. Um, and yeah, that pattern will be released at the same time as um, it's light sister version um, and the dark version is basically the same version as the cotton version that I shared in last month's video. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a two pattern in one. So you're going to have the option to do the lace or just like the wrap stitch 
version. And um, the hat is done as well. It has been sent to Tech Editing. So um, test knitting for these two patterns is gonna start very soon and they will be released later this fall. But before we continue with today's video and all the knitting goodness, I wanted to introduce you to Susie, my very first sewing machine, which I acquired, I think a month ago or so. Um, I believe that I told you a few videos back that I really wanted to teach myself how to sew. It's one of these skills that I really wanted to learn how to do, um, but that I was completely terrified of. And because I decided to close the company, there's extra income that I could spend. So 
I went ahead and introduced Susie to my family and we spent a lot of evenings together um, me learning how to use it thanks to one Skillshare class um, and at the same time learning how to quilt and I just cannot wait to finish the quilt and yeah just get better because it's not great but just keep keep learning keep doing it Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for helping me to finally conquer my fear of the sewing machine. The class that I took to familiarize myself with Susie is called Quick and Dirty Sewing, Machine Crash Course by Miranda Harper. This was a brilliant and very brief course which walked me through the very first steps of how to use a sewing machine. The class is only 25 minutes long but I probably spend the next hour or so threading it many times and eventually making my first stitch. I have no idea how to follow a sewing pattern to be honest, so the next class that I will be taking is Make Your Own Baby Clothing DIY Sweater by Oku and Jildu, which I think will be a great help to make me understand how to not only sew a garment but also understand how following instructions work. If you're a visual learner like me and have some extra time that you would like to dedicate learning new skills and craft, Skillshare might be the best for you to start. Skillshare is an online learning community offering a myriad of different classes on topics ranging from specific watercolor skills to journaling, knitting, productivity, any topic that you might be interested in. Skillshare probably has a class on that topic. If you'd like to try out Skillshare, the first 1000 people who click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of premium membership. At the beginning of the month, I spent about a week or so working on yet another idea that came out of nowhere in the middle of the night maybe. And I spent a fair amount of time designing the chart on Excel, working out numbers and how everything could potentially turn out. Um, I did some swatches and finally I cast on and as I have mentioned in the previous video sometimes I need to make a swatch on the larger scale and and sometimes I just don't even want to stop so I keep knitting and knitting and knitting and um, and just try to add more stitches and more fabric to see where something can take me and I basically knit a full textured jumper, sort of, without the sleeves, but pretty much the whole body. And I was really torn on that one because one part of me really liked some of the elements of the design, but the other side of me didn't like the whole thing together. So I, I had to set it aside for like a few days and reach out to Instagram to ask what you guys thought about the design and that was pretty much 50-50 so I just took like another half an hour 
to myself and I grabbed the scissors and split it in two. I couldn't be more happy about that decision. Um, once I started cutting, it was just the best feeling ever. It was kind of letting go of the disappointment in the amount of time, sort of, that I spent working on that project and coming to the realization that, you know, this failure could lead me to creating two beautiful designs. Um, and yeah, I just, I just explored something that I always wanted to create and I, re I just realized that this pattern wasn't working for me. So um, that was totally fine once um, one was two, if you will. And as soon as the top part, um, so the yoke, which is a textured portion was cut, I put it back on the needles um, and I'm so grateful that I worked with Plotulopi for that because um, when you cut the knitting like this, um, I just it's just so easy with Plotulopi in the sense that it's a rustic yarn, it has no memory, uh, pretty much, and it's easy to to put the needle the the stitches back on the needles. So even though I didn't put a safe line for that project, it was very, very easy to put the stitches back on the needles and basically not lose the work that I had put into creating this yoke. So I put the stitches back on the needles and on the back of my head I had another idea for um, this yoke design. So I just went ahead and spent the next couple of days working on that new idea. And I'm so glad I did because I'm, I'm now down with the body and I'm about to start working on the sleeves, which are, should be hopefully quite interesting, interesting to work on with um, quite a bit of texture. Um, so it's going to be way more minimal, if you will, than the first idea that I had, but still busy in a minimal and whimsical way. As for the leaves section, I've I just put so much energy into working on this new design that I haven't had the time to um, figure out what I could make with the leaf portion of the design um, but that's definitely something that I'm keeping in mind and as a matter of fact I have um, the second half of the jumper on my desk which I can use as a reference I took pictures um, gauge I still have the chart so it's still usable material um, for something else that I might I might design in the future so all in all that wasn't a waste of time per se um, that was a learning experience and um, yeah just I guess learn from your mistakes which are not necessarily mistakes just um, I guess maybe just a starting point sometimes mm -hmm.